Hey there, my name's Duncan, and in this video, I'll show you how to create a fully functional credit or token system using Make, Webflow, and MemberStack. So let's do a quick demo. First thing I'll do here is purchase a credit. I already have an account. I'm going to click here to launch the Stripe checkout where I can purchase a credit. As soon as this transaction is complete, I'm going to get redirected to a success page where it loads and now I have one credit and I have the option to redeem a credit. Before I redeem, let's go ahead and purchase another one. You can see it's super easy to make that purchase. Right now I'm in test mode so I'm not actually charging my card, but I have two credits now and I can click here to use a credit. It's pretty quick. I use it, it changes the number of credits I have and if I do that again, then it's going to uh, knock me back down to zero credits. So you can imagine that redeem credit form being a download, sending an email, some kind, making a blog post, right? Uh, this is some kind of action, which is going to be decrementing the number of credits that somebody has. Now let's talk about how this works. The first thing we want to do when we're setting this up is create a free plan called has credits. This is the plan that we're going to add and remove to the member to make sure we are gating access to whatever it is that we are like blocking. In this case, I'm blocking a form submission. So you can only use the form if you have credits. And I have some gated content here. So I've just called it has credits. Uh, I selected all my pages and settings. These will be unique to your site. So yeah, we gated some content and we're unlocking it with a free plan. Also on the free plan, whenever somebody it signs up or purchases it, we're taking them to the success page. We'll go into that more later, but that is important to note. Next thing we need is a paid plan called buy credit. And in this example, there's just one plan and you're purchasing one credit. At the end of the video, I'll talk about other ways of doing this. And that's it for the member stack plans. Next, we're going to go into make and we're going to create the add a credit scenario. Uh, somewhere in or near this video, I'll be providing a link to download this blueprint, which means whenever you import it, you're going to see basically what I have right here. And then you'll just have to go in and update any of these little settings just to make sure that it's using your account. The first thing you'll need to do is connect your Stripe account. Um, you'll want to click add, and then you're going to click add again, and then you'll need to get your API key from Stripe. If you're in test mode with MemberStack, then it probably makes sense to go ahead and use your test mode Stripe API key. And then similarly, when you're ready to go live, you want to come in here and swap those out. But for now, just go with your test mode uh, Stripe API key. Quick Google will show you how to find that. Once that is set up, you're going to watch events. Now, it looks like I didn't give mine a name, but what we're doing here is we are watching for any charges. And in this case, there is a charge succeeded. This means that it will notice anytime somebody completes a one-time purchase, or maybe if they have a subscription, the charge will still go through and succeed and trigger our make scenario. So that's what I have set up there. For now, we'll just go back and leave that how it is. Next, we are looking up the customer. We are then going to look up the customer in MemberStack using the MemberStack ID from Stripe. So we get the ID from Stripe, we pass it in a member stack, and we're going to check to see if this is the first time that they're making a purchase. And if so, we then are going to update the member. And we're going to set the metadata uh, keys, credits, value is one. Now, the reason we're using metadata here is that it can only be updated in the back end, which means customers are not able to tamper with this. Uh, only you since you are authenticated uh, with member stack and with Stripe are able to update this, which is pretty cool. So we add that. And then we're also going to add that free plan that we created to the member. So we'll want to go into member stack, click on the free plan and grab the ID up here at the top or the ID down here in this little box. And we'll paste that into there and save it. The next thing we need to do is whenever somebody already has a credit and they're buying another one, we don't need to add that free plan again. So we're going to update the member. 
and then we're going to increase the number of credits by one. That's what this little sum is doing right here. You'll probably need to change or replace this, uh, but if you have any questions, just feel free to leave a comment in the video, but this should work uh, for you. And there we go. Now, we'll do a test. Go back into here and purchase another credit. And pay. If we come back in here to make, we'll see that. In this instance, I was purchasing an additional credit, so it went ahead and updated the member, and I should now have two credits. So there we go. We have a, a way of adding a credit to a member when they make a payment. One other thing to note is that you're going to want to add a filter of some kind to this so that you this only gets triggered when somebody buys the correct plan. The easiest way to do it is probably to just apply the credit based on the payment amount. You'll just want some way based on your setup and your site to filter to make sure this doesn't fire every time there's a payment. And if you want to have Maybe you want someone to get 10 credits when they make a $10 purchase, and they should get 100 credits when they make a $20 purchase. It's totally random, but you'd be able to add in some kind of filter in here so that it fires appropriately. Um, you can either use a filter or you could do it, like you could do a little bit of math in here, where the number of credits is dependent on the payment amount. But I will leave that to you to figure out just based on how what your business model is. It's kind of there's an infinite number of possibilities, so I'm I'm not gonna get bogged down at this point. The next thing we need is a way to remove a credit. Which, if we go over to our website, we'll see I have this little very ugly form with an input with the member ID in it. That's super easy to set up. Uh, all we're doing is we have an input with the data ms member equals ID attribute. And then the form itself has an action, which I got from make. And I'll show you how to do that real quick. So in here, you'll either need to add, or this might already be present, you might need to add it, and then it'll generate this link for you right here, which you can copy and paste into Webflow. Right here, you paste it, you publish it, you go to the site and submit the form. Once you've done that, you come back over to make and it's going to pull in the form submission data so you're able to work with it in future steps. Then using the member ID, we're going to look them up in member stack and then check to see when they redeemed the credit, did they have one credit or more than one credit? If they only had one credit, then we're going to reduce the number of credits to zero and we're going to remove the free plan then we're going to um, return a status to the site and we're going to actually change the page location so if it is successful then we're going to redirect the user to the success page which once again i'll talk about that here in just a second but for now just know you should redirect them to the success page if they have um, two or more credits, then we don't need to remove the free plan. We're just going to reduce the number of credits by one. So we are adding the number of credits and negative one to decrease it. And then we're going to take the user, we can either take them to the success page or we can take them straight to the page they came from. We can take them back to where they came from. And there we go. Now with all of that stuff covered, Let's go into Webflow and talk a little bit more about the way the site is set up. Here we have sign up and login, the buy credits page, and then we have this success page. On this page, I have a member script in the footer, which is basically just buying us a little bit of time. Uh, we need member stack to be able to finish updating and then reload so that the gated content sort of changes can take effect. So one second is usually plenty. Um, and here I have added the page where I want the user to go to after they either purchase or remove or redeem a credit. So yeah, that is how that works. And I just added this little uh, Lottie 
loader to the page. So that's just looping constantly. Then over here on the buy credits page, you can see I have my little form where I have given it an attribute of data MS content equals has credits. You'll remember that was from the gated content that we created way at the beginning. And I've also added this attribute of data MS bind style display block. And what this allows me to do is I can actually hide this inside of the Webflow Designer and publish it. That way, if anyone ever gets to this page and member stack fails to load for whatever reason, that form is still hidden. Uh, and if member stack does load, it's going to just delete it from the page altogether. One more very important thing I need to show you is another member script. You'll notice that we are displaying the number of credits that a user has, and we're doing that with this data attribute of ms-code-member-meta equals credits. And some code down here in the closing body tag. And we're essentially saying pull the value of that member's metadata and replace whatever text uh, is, is here. So the zero is going to get replaced. And then I use some Webflow interactions to kind of play with the fade in and fade out to avoid any flickering, but I'll let you play with that on your end. I believe I covered everything. This was a, a slightly bigger tutorial than normal. So if I did miss anything, please leave a comment in the video and then I'll be sure to record additional videos and attach them to the end. So if you have questions, like I said, please let me know. I'm excited to continue to improve this and I very much hope it helps you. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.